Well, I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> Love is in the air, and though Carly can't seem to decide who she wants, Harper is a woman of action. Welcome, everybody! Today, we're tackling the super exciting season finale of the iCarly revival. We're also taking a specific look at Harper's evolution and the love journey that landed her a sweet kiss. The revival brought a fresh energy to the original iCarly and its characters, sparkling diversity in terms of ethnicity, gender, and sexual orientation. Our bisexual baddie Harper finally met someone who didn't give her the ick. So, let's see how how that went down. If you're looking for your daily dose of entertainment videos, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh my. It's everything. <laughs> It's been a long road for the sexually diverse characters in Hollywood, but the recent iCarly revival highlighted one of their own with a storyline that's being celebrated by some and questioned by others. When we first met Harper while she was comforting Carly after her livestream breakup with Beau, Harper is spunky, opinionated, kind, and spontaneous. We can now see how her personality balances well with Carly's. No wonder they're best friends. Lacey Mosley plays the eccentric character with ease and speaks of her own views on the character. In a recent interview, she said, I think that Harper's character adds a lot of fun and an adult millennial perspective. She used to be rich, but now she's poor. She went to college and now she has debt and is unemployed, so I think that she adds a lot to the millennial perspective. While some fans supported the fresh edition, Lacey had to deal with online trolls attacking her for her appearance and skin color. After the harsh words were spread online, true iCarly fans and Jerry Trainer brought the matter to the studio, and the bullying was quickly stomped out. On this, Lacey said, I can't lie, when I put this topic to bed, I didn't plan on speaking on it publicly anymore for my own mental health. When the LA Times asked me to share my thoughts on the ordeal, I knew I had a chance to shift the focus off of me and back to what Hollywood should be doing to protect and empower its black and pock talent. It's already so hard to pursue this daunting craft, it shouldn't be made harder by hate. I hope to see more studios follow in Paramount Plus's footsteps in the future." Oh, poor guy. Tell me everything. Thing. I can feel my emotional healing already. <laughs> Paramount went on to highlight her character Harper in the season finale. Though we've seen Harper express her attraction to different people, we hadn't seen her in a relationship yet. Lacey spoke in her character's sexuality. In a recent interview, saying, She's also black and queer, and it doesn't feel forced. It feels like a natural, real-life human being. I am also queer, and I really fell in love with the character because she feels like me. Lacey also said that during the casting process, nobody asked her about her sexual orientation, and the process was as respectful of her as a minority. She said that it was a stroke of fate that she just happened to be bisexual like her character. That wasn't a question I was asked when I was tested for the pilot, Lacey says. It just happened to be a coincidence that they hired a bisexual woman to play a bisexual woman, which they were all elated about. She reflects on how the show handled Harper's sexual orientation and how they worked to normalize a character like Harper and not make her lifestyle a big deal. On this topic, she said, Harper's queer, she's black, and not in a stereotypical way, she continued. We didn't even address her queerness as something odd. Are we all looking at the same thing? <laughs> that big old pile of junk? It's art. Not everyone has to like it. Harper never has a coming out. She's just queer. It's normal. No one cares, you know. And I love that about the role. But also, she's really fun. She pushes Carly into doing crazy things all the time. Speaking of Harper's wild personality, she took the biggest leap of her life when she quit her dead-end job at Skybucks to fully throw herself into the passion for fashion. If you've been watching the revival, then you know that Harper dresses to kill and helps Carly out as well. She was destined to be a stylist, and she finally got her chance when a eccentric up-and-coming artist named Double Dutch hired her. Fans really enjoyed Double Dutch's strange quotes and odd behavior, and her jokes always land. The two grew closer after Harper got the guts to finally give her opinion on Dutch's styling choices. Dutch even came for Carly's awful dinner party, so we knew she was there to stay. But the finale threw a curveball when Harper revealed to Carly that she had feelings for Dutch. It all started after they found Bo's treehouse in the woods. In the middle of a fight between Carly and Wes, a storm hit, and the treehouse was nearly shaken out of the tree. In that moment, Dutch and Harper jumped into one another's arms, and the tension between them stepped out the rest. They tried to push their feelings to the side, but there was no turning back. The two shared a sweet kiss, cementing themselves as iCarly's first ever LGBTQIA couple. So we agree! <laughs> We're just gonna close our eyes, turn off our feelings for the sake of professionalism. <laughs> 
I really love your boundary. Now, while this has been celebrated, some fans can't help but feel a little blindsided by the Harper and Dutch ship. Anyone who has been watching the series could tell that Harper and Spencer had some romantic chemistry and we were sure that they were going to have a crack at love. Well, you're not alone, as the showrunners revealed that they had also thought Harper and Spencer would eventually become a thing. Ali commented on the sudden shift that Harper and Spencer experimented in the second half of the season, saying, When we initially conceived of the character Harper, yes, that was something we were thinking. Then we just really liked them as friends, but then also they have this undeniable chemistry, but now he's dating her cousin Maeve, who is played by Lyric Lewis. It's just very complicated. One thing that iCarly has always done well is the slow burn, and another thing is the me Maybe we're better off as friends, so I could see it going either way. But even if they're just friends that have that amazing chemistry, we are going to keep pairing them together because they're so fun to watch. Jerry and Lacey are just kind of magic. Well, we agree. Jerry and Lacey are magic, and it's great to see two comedy aficionados balance one another out. Though they may not explore their options as a couple, we love that they'll be there to make us laugh throughout the next season. Harper and Dutch's relationship will probably be a wild ride, and though it surprised viewers, we're excited to see where the relationship will go. We're sure it will be full of laughs. Hermione freaking Granger was the title of Dutch's first album! Come on, Carly! <laughs> Well, there you have it. What do you think Harper and Dutch's ship name should be? Are you still holding out hope for Harper and Spencer? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more clips just like this. See you in the next one. All right. Well, if you see Dutch, tell her that tarp is not her color. How dare you? I look gorgeous in this.